It takes a lot to get the ring to Mordor. But don't worry, because I've got a racy solution that will get it there. I'm Joe Peacock with IT Pro TV, and I'm going to tell you what the pros know. So Racy Matrix is a tool that we use to assign roles and responsibilities in any given activity or process or practice or any project. And a Racy Matrix is actually really useful for project managers to assign roles and responsibilities and a very simple tool at that. But instead of talking about the theory, how about we actually take a look at a Racy Matrix? But before we do that, I'm going to need Zach to help me. Are you there, Zach? Hey, look. I'm busy. <laughs> Great to see you. All right, see Zach. So, Zach, you know a little bit about a RACI matrix. What does RACI actually stand for? Responsible, accountable, consulted, and informed. Right. Okay. And these are the four different responsibilities that we assign to stakeholders in any given process. <laughs> so, what we need to do is bring in a process or a project. So, how about we bring in a project? Right. Are you familiar with Lord of the Rings, Zach? Yes, I've only seen it 18 times with my sons. In this case, this should be right up your street. Yes. And I'm hoping you can help me with this, because what I we're will. actually going to do is we're going to assign roles and responsibilities to all of the tasks that are listed just underneath Zach. And that's exactly what we do. We actually take down our tasks, and then across the top, we would list our stakeholders. And they would either be a person, as we've listed here, or maybe just a role. But nevertheless, the stakeholders go across the top. And now what we're going to do is we're going to look at those four roles. Accountable means that the buck stops here. Accountable is the person who ensures that something happens. Not necessarily the same person that actually does the work. That's the responsible person. And there can be more than one responsible person, but only ever one accountable person. And then we have consulted. And consulted is somebody whose opinion that we ask. And then informed, well, an informed person is somebody who's actually told about that particular activity. So I'll tell you what, let's jump straight in, shall we? Zach, Lord of the Rings, somebody has to decide on what to do with the ring. So who ensures then that a decision is made? Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey ensures that a decision is made. Yes. Okay. And who is actually responsible then? Who makes the decision? That is also Gandalf the Grey. Right, he makes the decision. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, does anybody else make the decision? No. No one else makes it. No. Okay. Does anybody, um, is anybody's opinion sought? Mm, consulted, you mean? Yeah. Okay, so that would be uh, Elrond. The Elrond? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're asking for Elrond's opinion. Yes. Okay. Do we ask for anybody else's opinion? No, not at this point. No? Uh -uh. Do we tell anybody else? Yes, we are going to tell Sam We're because, going to tell because Sam. Sam is going to help Frodo. Right, okay. Right. right, so what about then creating a fellowship? Mm. Who actually ensures that a fellowship is created? Uh, I'm going to go again with Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf, yeah. okay. And there can only be one of those. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's right. With uh -huh. accountable, only ever one per line. Mm -hmm. um, what about responsible? Who creates the fellowship? I, uh, I'm going to go with two of them on this one. I, I'm going to say uh, Frodo okay. is responsible because he's actually got to carry the ring. Okay. Poor little guy with his hairy feet. <laughs> and also I'm going to say Aragorn. And Aragorn as well. Yes. Okay. Who becomes king. Right. Oops. That was a spoiler. Are you, are you just giving the game away there? <laughs> <All right. laughs> so what about informed? Do we tell anybody? Um, uh, we do tell somebody. We tell... Um, Sam. So tell that, Sam. Sam's going to be informed again. And also, uh, we're going back to consulted, but I think consulted also is going to be uh, um, Elrond. You think Elrond's going to be yeah. consulted? Yes, they do. Yes, they okay. do. We're going back to that, yeah. Right. So, what about then getting the ring to Mount Doom? Who ensures that the ring actually goes to Mount Doom? Well, here we go. We're going to give Frodo his due. He's accountable. Oh, Frodo's accountable yes. for that one. Yes. Okay. Right. And what about responsible? Who actually... He, well, he's responsible. Oh, he's responsible Two. as well. Yes. Okay. And then so is Sam. Sam's also responsible. They're going on the journey. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, do they ask anybody's opinion? Uh, yeah, they're gonna, well, they're going to consult Gandalf, of course. Oh, okay. 
And what about um, informed? Look, informed would be Aragorn as well. Aragorn is yeah. informed. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Yep. So now we're on to distracting and defeating enemies. So who <laughs> That's make, a great topic. <laughs> yeah, who makes sure that enemies are distracted? And de it seems like a lot to me, actually. Yeah. Who makes sure that er enemies are defeated? Oh, accountable would be Aragorn. Right, okay, so Aragorn yeah. is... is he, he's, he's the person right, that Right, he leads the charge. Right, you. okay. And what about then responsible? Responsible would be also Aragorn, and um, also it would be uh, Elrond as well. Elrond as well, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Um, is anybody consulted? That would be Gandalf the Great. Well, maybe Gandalf the White at that point, but <laughs> Gandalf. Okay. Yeah. So Gandalf is is consulted. Mm -hmm. Is anybody else consulted? Uh, no one else is consulted. Um, uh, I would say the informed would go for uh, Frodo and also Sam. They and need also to be informed. Sam, yeah. right? Okay. They're not an actual big battle, but they need to be knowing what's going on. Right. Excellent. Okay, so what we have in front of us now then is our completed racy matrix. Yeah. It's one simple rule, and that is there can only be one person accountable per line. Mm -hmm. um, something else that I want you to think about is that there are gaps in this particular matrix, and that's okay, because some stakeholders are not involved in every single activity. Yeah. They may not even be informed. Something else that you really can't do is can you ask somebody's opinion as well as inform them? Not really. So I wouldn't expect to see consulted and informed in exactly the same space um, with the same stakeholder for the same um, activity. Mm -hmm. But there you have it in a nutshell, a really, really simple tool. And it shouldn't take too long to actually create. And normally you have to have somebody to create it with you. So, I mean, I have my Zach, but, you know, you would have other project managers and other sort of project analysts within your project to help you create this. But in a nutshell, this is a racy matrix. And we use this to assign roles and responsibilities within any process or within any project. Mm -hmm. But for now, I'm Joe Peacock, that's Zach Memos, and you know what the pros know. So check out the playlist for more what the pros know and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.